In my opinion, clear communication is one of the primary skill sets that everybody should have in order to get what they want out of their career. Being direct in your communication is the easiest way, in my opinion, from getting you from where you are to where you want to be. So I have some tips for you um, on how to be direct and how to communicate clearly to make sure that people know what you want and you can be as blunt as you want and practice this skill um, to make sure that you're moving forward with the things that you want to do. The first tip I have for you when it comes to being direct in your communications or being blunt is to choose your words wisely. Typically when people think of direct communication, they think I'm just going to say the, the first thing that comes to my mind and not usually the most helpful thing in the world. So if you know exactly what you want, you make sure that you have not only that you're saying that outright, but that you're not packaging it in something that's abrasive or rude. The easiest way to keep people from being defensive is to make it a situation where you are saying, I feel this way, I want this, this is why, and leaving everyone else out of the equation. For example, I would not say something like, I deserve a promotion because Susie got a promotion. I would say something like, I deserve a promotion because of my contributions to the team, and this is what I think I'm worth. Done. You don't have to compare to other people, you don't have to bring other people into the conversation, and by only focusing on yourself, it does put a target on you uh, from a communication standpoint, but at the same time, it provides a place of strength and direction when you can say, this is what I want. So that's the first thing is to choose your words wisely and make it only about you. The second thing that you want to consider when you want to be direct in your communications or be blunt is you want to make sure that you're considering the timing. If you've seen that a situation has escalated or you see that your boss is really stressed out or whoever your stakeholders are that you're trying to engage, if you see that they are not going to be fully present in your conversation, that is not the good time to be direct or to be blunt. A lot of times people when they are in wanting to be direct or they're wanting to kind of push forward, they force themselves into a conversation or they force themselves into a situation that a lot that doesn't allow for the full fruition of what they want to to be realized, if that makes sense. So if your boss is just as an example, if you want to go in, I'm going to take the promotion example again, you go into your boss's office and you see that they are focused primarily on the budget numbers, they're focused on their metrics that they need to hit, and you come in and say, hey, I deserve a promotion for X, Y, and Z reason, your boss is probably not going to be all together uh, ready to have that conversation. So what you want to do in that case is if your boss, if you walk into your um, supervisor's office and you want to have a conversation about promotions that they aren't aware of, and they start talking about how they're stressed, how they don't have time for things, you might want to say something like, hi, I see that you're busy. I wanted to talk to you about my career development and my career growth. Um, I see that now is not a good time, but I do want to have this conversation before X date. When is the best time for us to have this conversation? It should be no longer than 30 minutes. And if your boss, if their supervisor says something like, yeah, that's not going to work for me this week. If you said, you know, I want to talk to you before Friday and they say that's not going to work for me, then you can say, you know, hey, I'm flexible on timing. I'll send you a calendar invite. The third thing that you want to do is keep it solution oriented. When you're talking about being blunt or direct, um, oftentimes you might think that I want to be direct about a problem that I'm having. And while that is helpful to say to a supervisor, if you're having, let's say, a conflict with an employee or a fellow team member, you might say, I need to have a conversation with you about person A. Um, and if you come into the conversation only with problems, you don't necessarily, you're not the one who's able to sculpt the solution, if that makes sense. So if you come into a conversation and you're only talking to your supervisor about or whoever you're talking to, but you, you have a direct conversation and you say, this is what I want and why. Let's say you have a conflict at work and you don't want to work with a person A anymore. You can say, I want to talk to you about this. I don't want to work with this person anymore. Um, here's what I would want instead. I want to have a separate working cubicle. I want to rearrange my working schedule so I'm not with this person. What does that solution look like? Because if you are direct in the, in the solution of whatever you're trying to talk through, it makes it easier for your supervisor to negotiate off of what you've laid out. If you don't lay out anything, then you're just going to be handed a solution that you may or may not be comfortable with. And on that note, if it's something that you're communicating, let's say with a bad boss and you're trying to improve that relationship, check out this video that I have about taking your power back from a bad boss. I think that'll be really helpful for you as well. And until next time, I'll see you on the next one.